I'm going to share the screen. So the previous session is now completed. The Kanban replenishment. Stream records. And go to this place. I upload. Okay, I have the first of the green email actually. So it's a Kanban replenishment actually. File upload. Okay, it's now completed now. So I'll now go for the next technique. <clears throat> Next technique is replenishment counting. The fourth technique of replenishment is what? Replenishment counting. So, uh, replenishment counting is normally done on a non tracked sub inventory. In a non tracked sub inventory, we will not know how much of stock is there. Let us take a case of a stationary entry. A stationary shop is having a lot of papers. Papers are now counted in reams and then kept it over here. So, one, when you walk in, uh, you will not, what happens, uh, record how much of papers you are taking because that is a very low cost item as far as company is concerned. So they do not want to track the issues basically. They only will track the receipts. Whenever they order 10 reams of paper, they will not receive 10 reams. But what happens, uh, issues they will not monitor at all. So in such cases, one, when you are not monitoring the issues, the stock will go down, go down. And then the stock also will not be shown about how much of stock is there. Such sub inventories are known as a non-tracked sub inventory. I will now give one example of a non-tracked sub inventory. C, the salt content in the C is non-tracked actually. Anybody knows how much of salt is there in the C? Nobody will know. Even the God doesn't know how much of salt is there in the C. So the salt content in a C is non-tracked. So if you want to put one kilo of salt, is it possible? Can we put one kilo of salt into the sea? We can very well do. We can buy one kilo of salt, open the packet, and then drop it down into the sea. So now, what is the new stock of salt? Anybody? What will be the new stock? We are now put one kilo of salt into the sea. So what is the new stock? Nobody knows. Previously also, before putting the salt also, we don't know the salt content. Now also, we don't know the salt content. Right? Because C is basically non-tracked. Now, can I put my hand inside the C and then take away one kilo of salt? Not possible. So, in a non-tracked sub inventory, we can very well receive into the sub inventory, but we cannot issue out of a sub inventory. So, such sub inventories are known as a non-tracked. Right? So, in industry, what happens? The uh, what's called the stationary shop is one famous example where what happens? There is a non-track actually. So let us now first of all create an item. <clears throat> and we'll click on it. We'll now create an item. So I am in the inventory. If I change the R to see zero three one. I'm in zero. And go to the items and then go to the master items. And then let us now create one A4 paper. A4 paper I'm doing. A4 paper. So the one I will now apply the template. Go to the copy form. Let me apply a template of purchased item template. Go there. Paper is measured in reams. One ream is 480 sheets actually. Go there. And then commit. So after having applied the template, I am now changing the primary unit submitter and I am saving it. So the moment you save it, this is an unupdatable attribute. We cannot update at all. The items, the primary unit submitters cannot be updated. It is an unupdatable attribute. Actually. We cannot update it. 
you only have to get a new item it feels so for that everything is already paper is ready now let us now create two sub inventories i will now go to sos enter in control f so i will now have what one stationary shop i will now say is a nt non tracked right? stat stationary shop and down and then i already have one main also we already have main so we got it. so we are now using going to use these two things so now i am now going to make it as what non tracked fine i am going to make it as non tracked so quantity tracked i want to remove it now it is not possible at all if you try to remove it it will not allow you at all fine so if you want to remove the quantity tracked of a particular sub inventory it must be whatever it should not be atable it should not be netable and then it should not be reservable also so all the three must be no then only you can do it now so then only you can remove it so what we do is in the status of active go there drop it down we will now see which is now having all the three is no 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 we want to have it now. and you can see active active and then n n n it is included in the atp is no allow reservation is no and then allow netable is no so only when you do it what happens is we cannot track the quantities of items which are lying in the sub inventory so change it to what active non available for netting and fine okay okay fine don't worry so we are now change the status to what active not available for netting reservation and then this thing come it now we can remove the what's called the quantity track so remove the quantity track not as a sub inventory and not depreciable and the remaining thing go away automatically also so if you go there and then further and then see fine with that so here uh, the non tracked sub inventory is now coming fine with that so everything is okay so order quantity fine with that so now when the inspector walks in at the time he is now going to count how many reams of paper are there so what i do is the default replenishment count type we call them as a what default replenishment count type so we are going to make a change now default replenishment count fine with that we will now go to what order max now fine there are three things so whatever he is counting he can enter as a on and quantity if he is now counting 16 reams we can now wait and then otherwise whatever you can now say order max or order quantity so we will now choose it as what order max so that is the default replenishment count type which will be defaulting you you can override it actually so come it and then click on the item sub inventory restriction fine with that so it is order maximum as a default count replenishment type so click on the item sub inventory and then here i will now put the item fine a4 <clears throat> percentage and then give it a Right. Oh, what happened? We are in appropriate org or what? We must be on T zero three actually. Cancel it and clear record. Oh, item assignment not happened. Huh? Item so, assignment not done. Oh, item assignment not done. <laughs> I forgotten to assign the item actually. When you go to the item, I forgotten to assign the item actually. Now go on and query it. Now find out. So the A four percentage, and then query for it. I will now go to the tools, and then go to the organization assignment. Let me assign to the. Let us now come back to S O S now. Collapse of S O S is the navigation entry. Control F eleven will now retrieve all the sub inventories. Keep my cursor on the empty sub inventory, and then here we have already made it as a non track. Non track means what? It will not tell you what is the stock there actually. So non track. And then get everything is okay. Now click on the items sub inventory. Now we will now put the item over here. Now person is going to do that. It is coming. Enable and max me. So we are asking the inspector to keep the stock between ten and fifty now. Ten and fifty. So we go to the order modifiers and then if you have a FLM and then order minimum order quantity like a min max, you can put it now. Fine. Go to the source and then we will now begin the source as a sub inventory source. If it is a sub inventory, it will be getting a move order. The picking rule will now automatically allocate the sub inventory also. Fine, over that click on. It's all done. So we are now defined the what's called the planning at this place at the item sub inventory level. Fine, the planning has been done now. So ten and fifty is the one. And then go there. And then we have kept this as what as a order max as the default way of doing it. Let us now go to the transactions. No, fine, go to the transactions. I will now go to the miscellaneous transaction now. I will go to the miscellaneous transaction. I will go there. Click on it. Is the M percentage RE miscellaneous result the one? I will go there. Click on it. 
account is control l em and then enter some junk account will be coming all tourist transaction line will go there the va4 percentage is then give it up in the sub inventory of what i will not keep it on main actually so whenever the inspector goes into nt stack and then make a count so it will be brought from the main sub inventory brought from the main sub inventory i will not say for other some huge quantity come in thousand quantities i am not giving it now go on and save just come in you know saving it so we have in the main sufficient sub inventory now let us now make the replenishment counting now perform the machine so go to the counting <coughs> replenishment counts counts <coughs> counting replenishment counts counts is the navigation variant what happens we are now going to perform the replenishment count double click on it click on new normally every week we will be doing it so i will now say it is a september actually september or now say first week so that will be the name actually first there is a category limitation so it is not taking only this one in which sub inventory i will not choose the nt sub inventory it is stand it is stand then go there click on the lines so nt stationary sub inventory the one where i am doing it fine <clears throat> we can even use the mobile supply chain application and do it if i am count using mobile supply chain application we can very well do it so it is normally done only with the msc device handheld device only not through the system at all so the counter will now go with the handheld device and then he will now scan the item and then put the quantity and then he will not trigger the replenishment actually so click on the lines so the order max is coming automatically here he will now put on the item over here right click on the item <coughs> okay so it's a e4 percentage go there you know So there is also deeper thing. I go there. He is now going to choose what on and quantity. So if he chooses what happens, the quantity is what let us say twelve. It is about ten. So there is no replenishment required at all. And go there. Click on commit. It's about ten. Commit. So replenishment not required. So only when the stock levels goes below ten, it needs a replenishment. It will not be brought to fifteen. I will not process the report. I have saved it, closed it, and then click on process the report. So the system will not process it. the concurrent will now run for processing the count now so process replenishment counting we are now doing so once when the process replenishment counting is done we will now see whether it needs any replenishment or not so item replenishment count report is also coming for the line for item replenishment count report so click on refresh data the complete that so go there and then view the output of it and go that one it says what above the min max level or par level so look up the par level later and no need to reorder at all there's no need fine you just chup raho fine par net toll point is okay so next week we will not see whether the level is really low or not we are set go that one place on now come to this place so in the next week what happens he comes over here he is now make it what september <coughs> second week then the next one so Control Shift F5. I am not going to do it on the same one. Not going to do it. Second week is not going to get. Twenty one line. They are not going order maximum. I am go there. So click on it. I will not rule. Oh, I go there. Item is what? I am not going to. E four percent thing. I am going to do it. So the order max, the default count replenishment is now coming. I am going to what? I will not say what happens. Order quantity. Or I will not use the on hand itself. So if I make a seven, the system will now sense that it is now less than ten. And then it will now automatically order for forty three because it has to bring it to the max level actually. It has to bring it to the max level. Then close it. So now close it. I will now process and report. I will now do it. Now click on it. So this time, what happens? It will be giving you what <clears throat> the levels to what. So you have a look at the item replenishment count report. Right? Item replenishment count report. So click on the view. Okay. So it has now given a reorder quantity of forty three. And then since we are given a sub inventory level. It will create a move order actually. A move order will be created, and then left the source as blank, and then it will now pick up from main. Main is only having a sub inventory. Otherwise, we can even force the sub inventory by putting your own sub inventory. And go that one. We'll now have a look at it. We'll now transact the move order. We'll now see whether it is allocated or not. So in the Kanban way, what happens is we have the facility of even allocating it automatically actually. So close it. <coughs> tools close other forms. I'm just leaving them behind. All tools. And then close other forms should not be enabled, so that multiple forms can be opened simultaneously. Actually, mm -hmm. so here, what happens? We go there. I will not go to move orders. I go to transact move orders. 
and then if you don't know the move order, I go to the line and then query for it. So the A4 percentage number that I have to find. Now find the move order. Right? Select the line. Once when you select it, it is not allocated. Whereas in the Kanban, we can allocate also. Remember, transaction is always manual. Right? Allocation can be automatic. Creation of a move order and allocation of a move order can be automatic. In this case, only creation is automatic, but allocation is manual. Whereas in the case of a sales order, the sales order will now create a pick wave move order. Inventory will now use the replenishment. Right? Inventory has got five replenishment techniques. Right? So these replenishment techniques will be creating a replenishment type of a move order if the source is going to be supplementary. Right? Whereas in the case of a sales order, it will now create a pick wave move order. On a pick wave move order, the allocation and transactions are ex implicit actually. So the system will now allocate it as well as it will now transact also automatically. Right? It's totally automatic in case of a sales order. So the type is what? Pick wave. And in case of a manufacturing, it will be what? Material pick more. There, you only have to manually allocate in the transaction. So in the manufacturing, it will be getting a material pick more order. When the type is material pick. And then for inventory, it is replenishment. So replenishment, material pick, and then pick wave are the three automatic more orders, which can be used by us. Select and then allocate it. So once you allocate it, the allocation will be single now. Right? Select it, and then you're going to transfer it. So go there. Now, what will be the stock? 43 has been transacted actually in the main source to subunitary. Now, can everybody tell me what will be the stock in the empty subunitary? I go there. I will not query for the wrong hand quantity. What will be the stock on the empty subinventory now? In the source, 43 has been brought in now. Anybody can tell me what will be the stock in the empty subinventory? Make a guess. Now. <clears throat> huh? 50 zero. So initially you say that you counted seven and then 43 you brought in. So by your way, what happens is 50 is a hundred percent wrong. <laughs> Nobody else <laughs> his mathematical calculation is correct, but uh, system wise it is wrong now. Why? It will show nothing. Why? If you put non-trackable non sub inventory. Yeah, it's a non-tracked sub inventory. In a non-tracked sub inventory, even though we counted seven and then brought in 43. It has to show 50, but it will not show anything at all. You click on find what happens. NT stock will not be shown at all. Go there, expand it. NT is a non tracked one. Like in a C, the salt content will not be known to you. And here, you got it. So it is available only on what the source sub inventory of 957. The main sub inventory is gone 957. The NT sub inventory stock will not be shown at all. If you want to receive, I can very well receive, but I cannot issue out of it. Okay, what are the transactions? You go to the miscellaneous transaction and go there. If you want to make a miscellaneous receipt, right? M, M, miscellaneous receipt, and then go there, control L, sorry, control L, M, and, and all the transaction lines, and go there, A4 percentage. Here, sorry. You go there. In the sub inventory, it will now come in the list of values, the NT sub inventory. So we can very well receive it, but we cannot issue out of NT stack. NT stationary, we cannot issue out. I give a cancel now. Cancel, clear the record F6 and then close this form and then make a change to miscellaneous issue. Make a change to miscellaneous issue. Go there. Control L M and refine. You go to the all tar transaction lines and go there. A4 procedure. Here, NT stack will never come in the list of value of N. Issues of whatever non tracked is not possible, but receipt into a non tracked is possible. And then the non tracked sub inventory will not show any stock at all. Right now. So here uh, I will now make two more things on this notepad. Okay? Clear process what it says here. Close it now. Uh, I will now go there. Right. What are the lines now? I'm the lines. Well, be done in the right? revolution is complete actually. I'm not showing you anywhere. Right? I'll now go for the next line. Right? Sorry, you, know, you cannot do it. So the next week I go there. September, third week. Shift F5. So here item is what A4 percentage and then give a tab. So here I will now say order quantity. So I am saying that I want 47 now. 47 dreams are required. So at the time what happens, it will not look at the 10 and 50 level. Order quantity means what? Whatever you say, it will be ordered actually. So shift F5. So I will now go for order max. 
order max means what i know everything yaar you need not have to enter anything at all it will order order only order 58 so if the count type is going to be order only whatever you say will be ordered order max means what you need not tell the system at all system automatically orders with commit plus commit you can you have entered a duplicate item please clear your changes actually when for the same item you cannot enter twice i think probably <clears throat> so only one is possible and one is six so order quantity and then order max i will now demonstrate in the next example close it now process the report now you can see 47 would have been ordered actually the transfer orders will be coming so we'll have a look at that alt we are enter and you know so we go on that view the output of it you can now see 47 quantity have been ordered so your move order have for what is all have got created actually have a look at the move order now so close it and then we now have a look at the move orders move orders transact move orders and then go to the second line and then query for the item now find a for percentage and then so to come find you know select it uh, sorry sorry to interrupt sir yeah so in case of this replenishment and kanban uh, the 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 process automatic process will always create a move order right not the oh, requisition the source is going to be sub inventory it will now create a move order if the source is going to be inter it will now create a iriso if the source is going to be a supplier it will now create a purchase requisition if the okay, source so is production it will be creating a job order so in the in the in the concurrent program there is a parameter in which you can select sub inventory or no 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 It is not selected there actually. Allow come here. So click on allow. Allow it. They are locking it and select it and then click on transfer. So I will tell you not on the parameter of the concurrent actually. Fine, do not copy. So go there. Click on it. So we will be doing it in this place. So go there. Is, is it in the item setup or no? In the sub inventory setup. Fine. Yes. In the sub inventory setup. So replenishment uh, source is given in the sub inventory. Exactly. In this place, okay. what we go to the items. So so whenever you are doing a counting. Whenever you are doing a counting, if the count falls below the maximum, yeah, then it is uh, generating a, uh, the program. The inspector is walking into the sub inventory, non-track sub inventory. He is performing a count, and then he is entering his data. So the he is entering his data, then the program is submitted. Exactly. And if the if that uh, sub inventory has got a source of supply, requisition will be created. Yeah, yeah exactly. If it is sub inventory, it will create a move order request from the yeah, source. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And uh, internal uh, internal requisition from the inter, source. Inter means uh, internal requisition. Yeah, ISO, IRISO, IRISO from the source organization. Exactly. Okay. Now, so in terms of Kanban and uh, replenishment, this this is the policy. See, every technique is basically aimed at replenishing your uh, particular uh, location, actually. Destination. Destination. Yeah, destination. So, which technique will now suit the end client? As a consultant, you only have to decide. Min max will suit or. or op will suit or kanban or rc or par so you have to deploy the appropriate technique for the end client actually so i am only teaching about how the techniques are working but really a consultant has to what happens see the behavior of the end clients industry is the cement industry how they are performing the domain that domain works very well which which technique you have to design and then do you'll be having lot of people there so they will guide you so you they sometimes they will not say i want only rop i want only win max so if they say then you can deploy it directly min no, max to for uh, so for uh, non track or uh, no, uh, non track uh, no quantity means then we have to go for a counting replenishment track of course in a non track is ramesh is very correct a non track will not work with any other thing min max rop kanban will not work if it is a non track sub inventory only counting is the only way very correct For a non-tracked one, counting is the only way. No other technique will work actually. Correct. Now, what about there is a dock one now. You know, go there and how will go the dock? So you is inventory. I will now go to the what inventory course documentation. Fine, go there. So it is a replenishment counting, rep counting. Fine, the rep counting is there. Open up the rep counting document on the inventory course documentation. Fine. So normally the replenishment counting will be done only for a non-tracked sub inventory, wherein the counter can enter either the on-hand quantity, order quantity, or order max. But some companies will not allow the min-max settings at all. The 10 or 15 min-max is not allowed. Okay. So we'll now go and see. Now. 
that some companies do not allow the min max at all to this effect. So it will not collapse off, it will not go to what, close it and collapse off. Yes, go oh yes. I go to SOS, control F11, I go to the NT sub. So some companies do not allow this min max at all to be set at. So if you remove the stick mark, even though if you are given 10 and 50, the system will not sense the 10 and 50 at all. Now tell me, if you have a count of six, what will be the output of the system? If you say, I counted six, if you say, go on and say, on and quantity six, what will be the output of the system? Anybody? Whether it will be 44 or not, that is my question. The system right. is unable to sense the 10 and 50. It yes. So in that case, it will six on the okay. No, he is counting six now. So what will be the output of the system? System will, first of all, will not allow him to enter the on hand quantity at all because it doesn't know the max. On hand quantity is not possible. So can he choose his order max? He can choose only order quantity. Order quantity only he can choose. He cannot choose even order max because order max means what? The 50 quantities is not sensed by the system at all. System will not send the 50. So both on hand quantity and order quantity or on hand quantity and order max are not possible for the counter to enter at all because we are removed it. We'll now go there and have a look at it. Since we are removed the tick mark, the system cannot send the 10 and 50. So order on hand quantity as well as order max is not possible for the counter to enter now. Okay, all right. We'll now close it. We'll now go to the counting. We'll now go to the counting. Fine. Replenishment counts and then counts. Mm -hmm. Go there. So click on find now. We'll now find this. If you go there, I will not put what uh, sep, fine, I will not say two, fine, something like that. So go there. So shift F5, go there. So click on the lines now. Or max is there. Max is not possible, even though it is the default type, which is now defined in the sub unit level, it is not possible. We go to the item now, fine, click on the item. I will not put the item now, fine. Percentage is, we give it app. It automatically changes to order quantity. If it drop down, no other things will be coming. Only order quantity is the only thing you can give. If you give 49, or even if you give 51, the system will not send the 10 and 50 at all. 10 and 50 is not sensed. Only order quantity is only possible if min max is not allowed without min max. So some companies operate on non tracked without min max. It depends upon the requirement. So close it. Now 51 is there. So click on the process and report. So if you go on and have a look at it. Now, what happens? The output will be 51 now. Alt R. Alt R. Now complete that. Go back to quantity. Output to be given. Output. So the output will be for 51 quantity. Reorder quantity is 51. 51 reams of paper is now ordered for a movement request. Move, move orders basically. In some companies, what happens? They use as this technique even for a tracked supplementary. Tracked supplementary mods, we know the quantity also. We know the quantity also. So in which case, with min max, we'll not go on and see. In the tracked supplementary, we'll not have a look at it with min max. Close it. I will not go there. I will not go to yes. Oh, yes. Control F11. So F11. Yes, FSI is basically a practice supplementary. In the practice supplementary. The quality track is there. So here I go to the item supplementary. I go to the item supplementary. And then I will not restrict this item also. Right? In the A4 paper. With the min max, fine. I will not say 100 and 500. And then you go to the source type. The source type is going to be submitted. Come in. Now, whatever stock is there, the system knows because it is a quantity tracked. <coughs> Since there is a quantity tracked one, it will now know the stock of all the items submitted restricted piece. Everything it will know. So on and quantity, the counter cannot enter at all. In this case, if you go in the level, so with the min max on a track the binary, he can only enter the order quantity or order max. Only these two are possible with min max. And there are some companies which are using it on a track to sub inventory also. Mainly it is done only on a non-track, but we can very well do it on a track also. You go to the counting, you go to the replenishment counting, and then go to the counts. Right. Click on find uh, say September. And then NT uh, is, a, is a, what's called SFSA. SF, SI is the one. And the SFSA, I go to the lines now. The A4 percentage and then give a tap. Here, 
on and quantity is not possible order quantity and order max are only possible got it now i will not choose order quantity and then i will not say 455 i will not try to put it beyond 5 now no see fine why not for sorry and the why it is not possible or is reason what because, to do because the sub inventory itself is a tracked sub inventory so the sub inventory knows the on and quantity it will never allow you to enter the on and quantity at all it is a tracked sub inventory in a tracked sub inventory how much of paper is there the system knows it so mm -hmm. that is not the option for what about the replenishment actually for replenishment the count type of on and is not an option actually okay only order count and on now i am not putting 505 not at close it now i will not process the report okay are you I will look at it after two minutes. You know what I mean? I'm doing the problem reporting now. So the processing is happening. Then afterwards, item replenishment count report will be running. Once when this completed, item replenishment count report will be running. So we are now given more than 500. We will now see what will be the output of it. Item replenishment count report is now running. When will that? So it's called item replenishment count report. So click on the view output of the account. So even though hundred and five hundred are set, if you are giving an order quantity, it will not consider that hundred and five hundred at all. Hmm. Whatever you give actuals, it will be ordered actual. An order max is of course going to give hundred five hundred. So these are the four methods of doing a what's called rep and RC. RC can be none other than non tracked sub inventory with min max and without min max. And then it can be tracked on a tracked sub inventory with min max, and then without min max also. Naturally, without min max means what? Only order quantity is the only possibility. There is a lab access for it. The sport mode is a lab access for it. So this completes RC replenishment counting. Got it now? <coughs> RC replenishment counting. Now we go for the final topic called periodic automatic replenishment. This one is a part. This is the fifth technique. So, periodic automatic replenishment is nothing but what uh, your RC then on a locator. When you are doing RC on a locator, it is called par. Okay. RC on a locator is on par. And then on a par technique, the min max is not possible at all. Min max is wrong. So rather, min max and par are mutually exclusive. Min max and par are mutually exclusive. Okay. Min max and par are mutually exclusive. So again, it can be done on a non-tracked as well as a tracked sub. So let us now go there and then do it on a non-tracked sub inventory. Par. Par is nothing but you are now replenishing a particular locator. So here we are now replenishing a sub inventory. Here we are now replenishing a locator actually. Locator replenishment is known as a par. Let us now go to the place. So let us now go there and then create a sub inventory. Find a par sub inventory. Select. So go there. Yes, O oh, yes is the navigation and entry now. Find control F one. I am entering all the data. So let me create a par sub inventory. Fine. I will now say par by ND. Par non tracked action. Fine. So it is to be done on a locator action. So now, here, what happens if you make it as an active and so that, then only what happens is a quantity track can be removed. So once when you make it as an active, non available for netting, everything you are doing in the mind of that, I'm not choosing this option. Everything is NNN. Active, not available for netting. Reservations and level five ATP. Okay, now we can very well do it. So the moment you remove the stick mark, locators cannot be created. So once when the quantity track is disabled, then what happens? The locators cannot be created. They cannot create a locator. But on a par sub inventory, we can very well create a locator because par is done only on a locator. So let us now enable the par level planning for this sub inventory. So I what I made is what I made is a non available for netting. Reservation and all, fine. Because of which I am able to remove the uh, quantity track and go there. So now let us now enable the power level planning. Locators will come now. Just go, go down, go, go there. Fine, go. Enable power level planning. So if you put a tick mark, then power level enabled and non-tracked, we can very well create a locator actually. There is no giving a caution. Fine, doesn't matter. Accept this caution. Click on OK. Go ahead on this one, and then go there, and then click on the locators. Commit. Just commit, and then go to the locators. No locator control. Fine. So locator control must be on. Then only what happens? You can do it now. Fine. Go there. So this is what is fine. Go there. So let us now enable the locator control also. I don't know what uh, locator control. I'm going to make it what three specified. Fine. Go there. Make it. Come here. And go to the locator. 
So let me create three locations. Okay, hundred dot, hundred dot, hundred. Tap tap. And then ESS is storage device. Fine, okay, down arrow. Storage locator. Right. So the two hundred dot, two hundred dot, two hundred. Tap tap. ESS tap. Fine, down arrow. I will locate three locations. Three hundred dot, three hundred dot, three hundred. Tap tap. ESS tap. Fine, come. So this particular power NT subimmetry has got three locators. Hundred, two hundred, two hundred. Now we are going to design the power levels on this. We have to go on and design the power levels. So we have now created the subimmetry. We have now made it as what active in no not available for so and so. And then remove the quantity tag. And then enable the power level planning. Enable the power level planning. And then we enabled it what for pre-specified control which is active. And then after that we create the locators. Now what happens? We go to the item subimmetry and click on item subimmetry. So here I will now put this one. A four percentage number tag. Sorry, V four percentage number tag. No, sorry. So min max is not possible. Min max and par are mutually exclusive. If an item is planned for min max, we cannot plan for par at all. Right? They are mutually exclusive. So out of all the five available techniques, what you can do is you can only plan for a maximum of four. At any point, one item can be planned only for a maximum of four only. Not all the five actually. Now I will now say locator wise par level. Yep, I will now put the par level. I must say par level is under down arrow at the bottom. So two hundred dot two hundred dot two hundred. So here the par level is going to be two hundred. Three hundred dot dot three hundred dot three hundred. I don't know why you are giving us hundred hundred two hundred two hundred three hundred. Yes, for easy understanding. Okay. You have to give the exact addresses now. These are all addresses actually. You can give any address. You have to what about that? You will be actually asking the end client and then ask the address of the locator. It is the first row, second bin, and then third rack like that. If you say forty-first row and then fifty-eighth bin and then uh, what about? So if he is giving address, that that address is here. Correct. <clears throat> so so we are now defined what happens the capacities of every locator actually. Capacity. Two hundred three hundred. Now the power levels are being paid. Now we will now perform a replenishment on the power level. Close it. Don't go there. I will not go to the counting. I will not go to the replenishment count, and then I will not go to the counts. And counting, replenishment counts, counts. I go there. Okay, fine. I will not go for what find, and then I will not put what sub three now. It is not on NT sub, but it will be on par NT. On par NT, we go there. So I got to do it on the sub. Right. Go to this place. First, the locator will be coming like a mundri kotai. Right? Mundri kotai means what? It will be coming as the first entry actually. So I will now say hundred dot hundred dot hundred. Item is what? A four percentage, and then give it tab number. So here I will now go for what? All the three are possible. Right? Previously it was what? One and quantity, and then order par, order max, and then order par, order quantity, and then order max. The order max is now replaced by order par. Actually, there is the only difference. For a par, it will be order par. Previously, it was order max. Now order max is replaced by order par. Actually, I go there on and on. Do you find it? Okay, now. So I am now counting what? What is it? Fifty-six, uh, fifty-nine. So here forty-one will be the output. Actually, okay, now. There is no minimum and maximum, but the par level comes into picture. So it will now replenish the par level of the particular locator. Actually. Which is E four percentage? I will not go there. So I will not say one fifty five. So click on it. I will not go for three hundred dot three hundred dot three hundred. Again shift F five. So it is order par. I am going to give it. Now. If we use order par, then it will not order the maximum actually. So in this case, my boss, come in. So these are three possible entries which the counter can make. Enter. And then process and report. We are now processing it. Not here. And so there is no running. So once the business is completed, what happens? Item replenishment count report. Now it is not an item replenishment count report. It is something else. I have forgotten it actually. The name is different. So it is a par replenishment count report. 
It is not an item reference model. It is a bar reference model count report, count worksheet actually. Click on the view. So we can now see 100, 100, 100. So we have an online quantity of 100. 59 has been counted. So the system has given a 41 number. So on to 300, 300, 300, it is order par. So it is now given an output of 300. And then here in this place, what happened? 200, 200. It is order quantity is 155. So 155 is now one hundred. Now the type has now gone to supplier now. And remember, I have not given any type at all. The type has not been given on the supplementary level. Now have a look at it. They go there. I have not given the type at all. Click on it. Now have a look at it. So go there. I will now go to what? Collapse all. Yes, is the navigation. I go there. Control F11. I am retrieving the data. I keep my cursor on the path. Empty supplementary. I click on the item supplementary. So here in the sourcing details, I have not given any type at all. Type is empty. So if the type is missing on this place, it will now try to pick up from the sub inventory level. It is the item sub inventory level. Item sub inventory level, nothing is there. It is the item sub inventory level. The item sub level, nothing is there. At the sub inventory level itself, it will now check for the source. Now I go down, go there, go there. It will now check for the source. The source type is again missing here. So at the sub inventory level is also missing. It will now go on and check on the item now. It will now go on and check on the items, master items. It will now query the item. It will now go on and check on the item itself. It will now check for this. So here, what happens if you go to this place? General planning. So here again, the source is missing. So the source is missing on the item supplementary area. In the supplementary area, and on the item area also it is missing actually. In which case it will now go on and pick up from the org parameters actually. Find collapse on. We've got set up organization parameters and navigation. It will now go to the organization parameters and then pick up the source actually. We'll go to the third tab region. It is supplier actually. So it is either inventory or supplier. Right? So it will now pick up in this place. So it's now on supplier. So that is why we are now able to see the output is all gone to the supplier area. And I have forgotten to what A4 paper, uh, whether I have given the price or not, we will not see enough. I click on it, we will not see whether I have given the price or not. I go to the items and I go to the master items. Mm -hmm. I go to the price. Mm -hmm. A4 percentage. I have a look at it. go to the purchasing tab and I have not given a price. I will not give a list price of what 20. I will come in. So the list price is now given. I will now go to the organization assignment area. Mm -hmm. I will now go to the, the place back. Mm -hmm. Now go to the org attributes and have a look at the pricing. We go to the purchasing. So I now give a 30 price. There are the master org, I have given a 20 price. So here I have given a 30 price. So let us now try to what happens? Run the now it must have gone to supplier automatically. Fine. It must have pushed into the interface tables of the purchasing. So now switch responsibility to purchasing now. Go to the purchasing. And then here we will run the rec import now. Right? Alt we are alt and enter. Fine. The rec import now. So I am now performing a rec import, requisition import, and I am So source is does not come from inventory. So click on OK now. I do automatic. I click on it. OK, call submit. So we are given 20 in the master and then 30 in the child. Now find submit another time. So click on submit. So requisition import has got completed. I got to it. Now view the output of it. Now find the so number of interface lines in error is three now. So it has now ended up in an error actually. Right. So because now, that, yeah, yeah. The 20 and 30, I think is conflicting. I'm not really sure about it. No, no, because the data is already gone to the interface table. No? Oh, Before afterwards you, I have given this now. <laughs> That's a reason. Very correct. So what I will do is I will now go there. It has already gone to the interface table. So afterwards I'm going to submit a new request. I will now say Rick import. Exception report. Rec import exception report. So delete exception. I will not say no to it now. So title, I don't know. Import source is basically for the inventory only. I'm not going to run a rec import exception report. It will not tell you what are the errors actually. Thank you. Okay, the exception report will not tell you what are the error which you're having in this place. So requisition import exception report to find click on the view output of it. So please enter a valid deliver to location now. Find deliver to location is invalid. No, not how come here? <laughs> it is not a deliver to location actually. It is a list price. Come on. 
I'm getting such error actually. What is this error? I don't know. Deposition input exception report. Please enter a valid deliver to location actually. Where we have to deliver. So in this one, if you go on and see, Supplier delivered to location is <clears throat> delivered to location appears in the sales order distribution. That oh, means in the location, huh? No, sorry, purchase order. Purchase order, uh, the distribution where exactly it has to deliver on T03 or on this particular locator only. Locators are also given in everywhere when supplementary name and then locator name or NT is the supplementary on which the particular locator everything has been given by the system. No asking for a location so much many around here. <laughs> this is coming at the time of import of requisition, but why this from where the delivery to location is so sometimes there. what happens there are, the reports given by the system is all bad bad now. So now I have given what the thing now. Please, let me please. run the re report again. Fine, let me run this again. No, you have to perform that again. You have to push that data again. Into yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to push the data again and then see whether it works properly or not. I will now go to what uh, it is now. Whatever the supplier is there, cooking, everything is there, price is there. Uh, I will now go to what counting. <clears throat> I will now come back to inventory. Come back to inventory. What is inventory? Inventory. I will now come back. I will now push the data again. Now I go to the counting. The replacement counts and then counts. Now. So zero three is our control down. I will say set four. It is a part empty. Shift your point. Both the lines now. I will not do only one now. Right? Hundred dot. Hundred dot. Hundred. Item is what? A four percentage. So order quantity is let us say eighty five. Let me process and report for the eighty five now. So the power replacement count report is also completed. 85 would have come over here now. So 85 has come now. Fine. So this time, let me pull in now. Fine. Let us now go on and pull in. Close it. Close it. Close it. Such a responsibility to purchase. I will now go there. Alt PR, Alt and enter. Fine. Rect import. I will not worry. Rect import. So import source is inventory. This is why 85 quantity is coming up to one Find out. This time it has to import without any problem. So there, it was saying interface errors were three now. Fine. This time I should not find any errors. At all. But master org is twenty and then child org is thirty. It will not. We will not see from where it is now going to pick up. Child org only. No, no. Not see what I am doing. The request import. Requisition import. View output. No point. So number of interface lines in error is again one now. Oh God, we're not on the rec import import now. <laughs> oh God, what is this error here? I could understand this now. So submit a new request now. Fine, was that it is a rec <clears throat> import fine. exception report. So go there exception. So rec import exception report. That. So import sources from inventory. We now say no. Do not delete any exceptions actually. The all exceptions be there. Exposition input exception report. Do the output now. Oh God, what is this here? I don't understand now. <laughs> Where we define delivery to location while. There is no such a delivered location there on your Kanban actually. Not over there, take on the count actually. You go there. You go to the count. No. no such responsibility back to inventory. In the counting. Uh, did you mention supplier anywhere in that case? No way. No way. Go to the count. No, somewhere you mentioned supplier also, no? Supplier, That's... that is on the previous one. Right? In the Kanban, I mentioned the supplier actually here. Supplier name is not there actually. Set number four. So default deliver to oh god, this field has to be entered. I think. I don't think I'll not make a new one now. Click on new one. 
I'm going to say one, two, three, four, one. Sub inventory is what? Bar and then your tab. So the default deliver to, fine, drop it down. T, zero, three, yeah. So I have to mention the default delivered to location at the moment. Okay. And this may be the main. So go to the lines now, fine. So go to the lines. And then locate is what? 200 dot, 200 dot, 200. 200 dot, 200. Item is what? A4 percentage. A4 percentage from the water quantity. Let us say, I must say 152. Close it. Process and report for 152. Now this time the requisition has to be created. Or the punishment count output 152 has to come now. So go to this player now. Click on the view output. 152 has come now. Okay? Let us now go into the purchasing and then bringing in now. Okay? We'll now pull the data from the interface table to the base table now and switch responsibility to the purchasing. So in this place, fine. Alt VR, Alt and Enter. Direct info. Percentage IMP and position import and import sources inventory. Okay, now click on submit, submitting it and click on submit. Alt R. So, if there's going to be a supplier, then the default delivered to location is also mandatory, otherwise, for internal, it is not required. Alt R, Alt R, Alt R. Press it, whatever it will be coming. So it's running. Red position import is running. It has got completed. Mm, it's imported because it took long time now. So number of approved requisition is one actually. Yeah. Well, what did you say? No, it was taking time though. Oh, it was taking it. time actually. Okay. So it was quite important now. If you go to the requisitions, and then you go to the requisition summary, and then query for the item open, the item is what? A4 percentage, and then give it a So it has no problem. We'll now see whether there's 20 or 30. It is not taken from the child or. There is a profile setting where from where you have to pick up the price actually. I forgot about it. So there is a profile setting. We can even pick it up from master also. The price can be even picked from master also, but there is a profile option. Right? So forgot about it. Okay. I know that. So from that, it will be So you don't take up the price for the child or nothing. So close it now. Close it. I will now go to the auto grade area. <coughs> and then query for the item. Clear everything. And then you go to the item. The A4 percentage. And then give it a find it out. And then select the line. And then here, I'm now going to create a standard automatically. Supplier, I will not put right? advanced network devices. Press no is a one. So, click on these are all system ready made suppliers actually. Click on there. Go to the space and go to the terms and then remove the carrier and then put it. close it and then click on approve. It will be getting approved. 6577 is now getting approved. 6577 is now getting approved. Now go there and use it. Is a direct result and go there. 6577 is the one. Close it, close it, and then go to the receiving. The direct result. So you'll now go to the receiving, and then zips. There's a gate of an organization. T03 right? is R. Okay. 6577. 6577. Then I'm going to receive it directly into this one. Select it one to put the stop. Located is what I'm not going to put an appropriate locator. I put 200 dot 200 dot 200. So, since it is a non track, it will not show you the quantity at all. The replenishment gets counted. You output communication. This P output for communication will be communicating through email to the supplier actually. RTP will be running, so we have to wait for the RTP to complete. So, once when the RTP is completed, the activity on the receiving is now completed actually. It is a direct result and so what happens it would have gone completely. But you cannot see the stock at all in this case. Stocks cannot be seen. If you go back into inventory now, you cannot see the stock. 
and do the on and availability and do the on and availability. Because it is a non tracked actually. Okay, you don't okay, all right. And then if you go on and put the paper on the A4 percentage, you will have. So on the par NT supplementary, it will never show any stock at all. It will not show any stock at all. So it will show you 9, 10, and, but in the some other supplementary item. But if you expand it, expand it, expand it. Main supplementary will not show. The main supplementary will not show. And the NT par, it will not, par NT, it will not show anything. So this is what is important. We want to have a look at the paper. So periodic automatic replenishment, the power replenishment on a locator can be done in a non-tracked sub-inventory. We can enter all the three. So if you're going to go for a tracked sub-inventory, then on and is not possible, but order quantity and order power are only possible. Got it now? So this is on the part. So only thing is on the count, uh, on the count, you have to give the location also. Location seems to be mandatory. So that is the reason that what happens is not coming up. So with which we have completed all the five replenishment techniques. Actually. All the five replenishment techniques are available. So tomorrow we are going to jump into accuracy. We will now begin ABC analysis, cyclic counting and physical inventory. And then after completing these three things, we will now go to the, it's called the basics on the, what happens your uh, metal transfers now, right? So these six topics are still pending actually. Then finally, next week, we will go to inventory fundamentals. Got it. It's okay. How do you feel the replenishment techniques? Are you comfortable on this or otherwise it's very difficult? If it is very difficult, you can put a go slow now. So now see if it is okay, you can uh, say put a green tick. It is understandable, means what you can put a green tick. Great, Chandra is understandable, fine. Jana said it's somewhat difficult actually, fine. Yes, it goes slow. Hemant is, Hemant is able to understand things very fast actually. He is basically suggesting a lot, fine. Note down his name and contact details so that you will be of a great help. My, my lady love is not coming at all. She is an excellent girl actually. <laughs> she is not finding time actually. Rajesh has understood everything. Fine with that. Great now. So we'll now meet tomorrow and then we'll now continue our accuracy now. We'll now begin accuracy tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks, Nana. Okay. Bye all. We'll now meet tomorrow. <clears throat>